So we know that our props get passed in as an argument, which is made really clear in stateless functional components. And I will get back to that, Kyle. But I don't want to have to write props.note.title and props.note.body. I really just want a local variable called note. Equal to props.note. But even that's too much typing. I wish there were an easier way to set a local variable that's just one property out of the object that got passed in. Let's learn about a nifty feature in ES6 called destructuring assignment. Not as intimidating as the name sounds, or even as the definition makes it sound. The destructuring assignment syntax is a JavaScript expression that makes it possible to unpack values from arrays or properties from objects into distinct variables. So we unpack the values from an object into distinct variables. That's exactly what we want to do here, right? Note is a property of this object props, and I want it to be its own variable. <coughs> So here's this new syntax for doing that thing. So let's get ourselves an object. Pancakes. Lunch. What did you have for lunch today, Seth? Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> Too many Ks. Dinner. Uh, what did you have for dinner last night? Uh, Mani Is it Manit or Maniz? Uh, who, we're not even in here. Isn't there one in both? In, uh, I don't know. Uh, Heidi, what did you have for dinner? Lo mein. Cool. Um, now I want lunch to be its own variable. I could say const lunch equals meals dot lunch like some kind of animal I'm a busy guy I ain't got time for that bull crap here's what I want to do I want to say const lunch equals meals what so this is the syntax for destructuring I could just say, I'll use, I'll use let just for kicks. Let's say we want breakfast and lunch out of there. I'm going to say alert the variable breakfast. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Pancakes. Huh? So it created separate local variables called breakfast and lunch. And what did it do? How did it put it? It unpacked the values from the properties of an object. I had this object, meals, that had all these properties. I wanted to take some of them, the ones of my choice, and make them into separate variables. So I just surround those variable names with curly braces and just set it to the object, and it just unpacks those properties and creates local variables with those names. New feature in ES6. Pretty neat. Destructuring as part of an assignment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go.
So what? What's that got to do with Note Herder? So what can I do here? How can I change this line to use destructuring assignment? So I've already, yeah, I've already got my, yeah. What, what, I just need to make one tiny little change here. Or two tiny little changes shaped like Bob Hope's profile. You guys know Bob Hope, old comedian? Had a face shaped like this. Where do I put them? Where do I put the where do I put the curly braces? Like that? Const note equals props like that. Now I've got a local variable named note that it just unpacked from that object props. I'm telling you, this, I, this is too much typing, although I'm perfectly happy to type backspace as many times as it takes. What if I could do this? <laughs> Grab just the prop I need out of there. Let's unpack it. Let's destructure it. And just snatch that one property out of it and make a local variable by that name. So now I can just say note.title and note.body. And I didn't even have to use a traditional assignment on this variable. That is so 2015. Come on, I broke the whole thing, right? Holy smokes, they're still here. There's got to be, oh, I do have one, one little warning there, but it's not that one. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what, I mean, I know from one-on-one from -on -one help with you guys, that's what you do, right? You see, oh, I have an error message. Better not read it. Let's just start troubleshooting. Ha ha. Nope, we read our error messages because oftentimes they tell us just what we need to do. But I'm busy right now. I'm talking about destructuring. It worked. Let's go, let's go one, more, one more level. So I could do that in note, in a note list. I pass in props, but the only prop I'm actually using out of there is notes, plural, the whole collection, right? So I could destructure that. Cool. I'll go ahead and leave main as is and just leave props in there. So I have at least one stateless functional component that's using all the props. Um, convention is the only reason. Uh, as a general rule, inside an object or a destructuring, I leave a space inside curly braces. Um, inside one of these, within a component, when you're just putting a JavaScript expression inside a component, the convention is not to put spaces around it. But it's 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 just a convention. But it's a pretty common convention. structure props in stateless functional components. So I'm not just doing this because I want to confuse you with even more weird ideas. I mean, that's part of it. I just enjoy seeing people suffer. But also, because you'll see this a lot when you read other people's React code. People do it a lot. <laughs> 